eating shit and dying. Okay, it looks like I'm back now. That was a, a very long bout. I'm back. It seems like the stream is also back. I don't know what's going on. For some reason, this sort of random loss of my connectivity. I don't know. It's weird. It's definitely an issue that we're trying to... Uh, I'm looking into fixing. I mentioned it before. I can't really switch providers. And... When I've called, they can't really, can't, couldn't really do anything. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on. Um, it was good before, and then all of a sudden, it kind of just went to shit. Um, so we are looking for options, but at the moment, there are no options. So uh, I guess I'm just going to have to deal with this. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. What you gonna do, you know? Anyway, I, I stepped out for a moment to sort of see if I could try to fix it by uh, disconnecting some things that were previously connected. Uh, it might have helped? Question mark? I don't know. We need a lot more eggplants on the farm. <laughs> of everything I'm thinking about right now. The farm needs more eggplants. Alright. So where were we? Um... So yeah, for some reason... Okay, let's go with 0 0.1 instead. Yeah, for some reason, this specific point here is just in love with this part of the bone. And no matter how much weight I put onto it, it immediately snaps to that part of the bone. I guess that makes sense, since it is, like, touching. I wish it wasn't like that, though, because uh, it kind of messes things up.
Yeah. I don't know what I can do to fix that. I need to look it up, I think. But... This method, I think, has proven to work out. Um, from what I can see. So I think I'll be doing this method moving forward. Um, so yeah, I'll be using the way I set up the bones here. Because this seems to work uh, very nicely. Obviously it's not perfect, but um, it's probably like the most coherent set of bones at the moment. Um, and yeah, and I set this up using automatic weights. So at the moment, everything seems really good. And also the top part of the uh, uh, of the dress itself is also really good. Uh, there's there's hardly any clipping for what I can see um, on any of these joints. So that's really good. I think the reason for that though is because I believe uh, the body is still uh, still has the shape key turned on that has shrunk down. Um, a lot of the body parts in the middle, uh, as you can see there. Oh, I should probably, mm, probably need to undo that. I mean, it's undone right now. Um, and it looks like there still isn't any issues with clipping. Well, obviously there, but that's because... Yeah, there still isn't much clipping issues. There's only clipping issues on the top bone here. But that could easily easily, sorry, be solved by me. Yeah, because if I if I turn this up, then it ruins the shoulders, which works for the pre-time skip key form. Uh, but it doesn't work too well with the post time skip, obviously. But what I can do is I could have a post time skip deform shape key that only affects this sort of like rib cage area and it keeps everything the exact same um and it will achieve the exact same effect uh for now we'll just keep the pre-deformed turned on and i don't know i'll probably i should probably make a note um to add that i'll delete that because we didn't actually need that um, a body needs a post, uh, shape key around ribs, so, uh, top, a uh, top spine bone doesn't flip. All right. Oh god, this portion here doesn't have a lot of room for, um, for the things I usually put there. We unlocked. Red cabbage. Very nice. Okay. Now that I figured out, I guess, like, a general bone structure that I really like... Um, let's actually work towards uh, editing all the rest of the bones to follow along with said bone structure. Um, so yeah. As you can see, the root bone of that controls all the... Uh, or should control all of them. For some reason, it seems like there's some here on the sides that aren't that well controlled. Hopefully I could remedy that by, you know, fixing the, the bones and the way they're positioned. Okay, so the middle is made out of that bone. One, two, three, 
for five bones. I think maybe a way to fix the fact that this specific point is so stuck into this is to maybe put the point of this bone in between two points and then maybe it won't be as harsh. We'll try that for the next few bones here. Alright, let's start with this one first. I need to delete some of these bones here. not 100% similar though it seems like there's some differences like in the middle here it got this bone on the white part is right between two of the flaps but on this bone here it seems like uh this bone here kind of aligns with one of the flaps which is different Kind of adjusting the bones a little bit to sort of match. At least try to match a little bit. Let's try this out, then. Yeah. Worked out pretty well, I think. So yeah, this is definitely the method that I'll be using then. If it's consistent with so far two sections, then uh, that pretty much confirms it's probably the best way I could go about this. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing this, whoops, all around uh, uh, the, the dress itself. We need more eggplants. I wonder if we should focus on, um, on bushes now. 
Now that we should be able to maybe afford some bushes. We have one berry bush. Uh, we'll keep it like that for now. Let's continue working. I feel like there's been a lot of distractions today. Um, although, <laughs> I, I, I only have myself to blame for that. It's because I could get it, I guess. I wonder if maybe I should push this up more. It seems like the way these are connected here are quite pushed up. Uh, so I was wondering if maybe I should do that here as well. Since it seems to line up. I could. Maybe give it a shot. Let's try with this one then. Let's put it, I guess, like here. See if that changes anything. Wait, hold on. Okay, it seems like putting it that high up is kind of causing a bit of clipping issues. So maybe putting it that high up isn't the best. Maybe down here? Or I guess you guys... Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, let's just bring it back to where it was.
You don't want to do it again? Ah, oh, that's right. Before we continue, I, I want to quickly just um, uh, fix the hair. Because for some reason, the, the tips of the... Uh, uh, the tips of the braids for some reason are like not connected or something. And I don't know why. Because it looks like it is. There, there's definitely weights there. But I wonder if like maybe it got... Here, let me... I could actually check, can't I? Yeah, the only weights it has is to the head. So the fact that it's not following the head is... um, I guess like weird. I probably need to turn on uh, or turn off uh, what's it called? Front face only. Alright, that fixed things. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice that before though. That is bizarre. Anyway, now that that's fixed, <laughs> we can continue what we're doing. I'm a little bit afraid of how this is going to turn out since it seems like there's going to be some like uh, this bone goes straight through I assume there's going to be some like clipping issues here or something I guess we'll be able to test it out once I'm done.
yeah, there's some clipping issues, but for the most part, actually, it's fine. I wonder if I could try to attempt to symmetrize. That would definitely reduce the, uh, I guess, the amount of workload that I'm doing right now. Although, hmm, I guess I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit afraid that even with the symmetrize tool, um, the dress is like maybe slightly like different, and so the uh, symmetrizing, I'll still probably have to go in and sort of edit some parts. Let me hide the references for now, I don't need them. Right now they're just kind of getting in the way. All right, I think I'm not going to do any tests after I finish uh, rearranging the bones just so that I could like speed this up a little bit, I think. If I feel like there's any changes I need to make afterwards, then I will.
Whoops. Pam 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 pam. We're getting there. We just need uh what is it, like eight more maybe. We should be done before seven. And because it seems like it's like as good as it's gonna get, I just need to do some like maybe some like minor um boy painting fix fixes fixes. Um Technically, we should be done with the sort of white painting of the dress by today. Not counting, obviously, the fixes that I mentioned. Um, which means that after this, the only two parts that I need to do um, to, you know, start moving things into Unity is obviously the texturing of the hair, which is going to take forever because of uh, the method I decided to use um, just being really long and, you know, whatever. Uh, and, um, shape keys. I need a, once, once I'm done with the rigging, I can begin working on shape keys. Um, so yeah, I wonder, should I, I'm, I'm kind of debating at the moment, fig, trying to learn AR kits, uh, this time with her. Um, I don't really have any sort of like face tracking software, although I, I'm pretty sure I heard um, somewhere that, um, that using your phone camera is, like, good enough. Um, or it's, like, it might even be, like, better, uh, to use your phone camera than anything else. Um, so, yeah, if that is the case, and uh, basically what I'm trying to say is I don't know if I'll be able to test it out if I need some, like, other camera. But if I could just use my phone camera, then obviously, yeah, I could test it out, uh, with not much issue... Yeah, I don't know too much about AR kits. Um, I, like I said before, I think I saved something about AR kits. Uh, I, I think it's just basically like someone going over what you need specifically for each AR kit. Um, I don't know. It kind of depends on like I guess how much work it's going to take. 
Um, it wouldn't be a good idea to learn it, though. Learn it now, before, uh, just in case in the future. I ever wanted to sort of utilize the sort of AR kit system, then I can 100% do it with not much issue. I'll have to think about it. I'll 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 let you know, I guess, as uh as I get closer to that. I guess yeah. After the rigging is done, then it'll basically uh we'll basically swap over from. The initial plan of like uh, doing some rigging and then some texturing to doing some texturing and then doing some uh, shape keying. I think that's like a very logical sort of progression, I guess. But yeah, I might, I might look up some videos. I'll have to see if I have the time. I mean, I still have to sort of... Uh, once I move into Unity, I have to also sort of look at how I'm going to... Um, set up the whole dress and skirt sort of physics. Um, that's still something that I am not too sure about. Um, just because I'm not sure how it, it works in Unity itself. Uh, that is also something I have to learn. But, I will learn it. That is, I guess... Uh, something I can say. I will try to learn it as best as I can. I didn't go through the struggle of <laughs> doing all this bone stuff just for me to sort of give up on, on that. Also, it would look bad, and I don't really like leaving things un undone like that. We're almost done.
two more and then we're done and then after this um like i said it should be pretty much done just need some fixes i'll do the fixes tomorrow and i guess i'll start planning out um how i'm going to texture uh the rest of the hair for for the remaining time until seven and then at which point i will swap over to uh within waves time explore that a bit more um since this story is done uh there's not really much um we can really do in Wuthering Waves. Uh, I think, um, obviously I'll be doing some, like, echo farming stuff. Um, just basically trying to, uh, increase my, my data bank level ASAP. Let's see what else I can do. Obviously. I think I could roll. I, I could do a roll. As well. I have enough, I believe. Last I checked yesterday. So we'll do that as well. Hopefully we could get something good. One more. All right, there we go. There should be everything. Oh, I guess, hmm, I just sort of thought of something that I didn't really think about before. 
What if... I mean, at the moment there isn't any issues from it, but... Sorry, what I was thinking about was the fact that... Um, with this armature, the, the skirt bones and the dress bones are uh, together. So, I guess my fear was, I wonder if um, the dress is sort of being um, automatically weighted to, to the skirt bones. Um, I'm hoping that's not the case. I mean, it definitely could be the case. Um... Whoops. I mean, the skirt bones are hidden, so I assume that isn't the case. But I would like... It looks like there is some issues here with some of the... Some of the side flaps not hooking up together, like, correctly. And also, it seems like a lot of this, like, underneath part is also not hooked up correctly. I kind of want it to... I, I want that as well to be, um... Uh, to be stitched to the sort of skirt bones. Or not skirt bones, sorry, dress bones. So I need to figure that out. So I think it's this one, right? The deep form looks all right, but it's like I said, there seems to be an issue with some, oops, some some side not coming along. Maybe it's actually not that bone, but this bone here. Check. I mean, together it works out. Apart, not so much. But yeah, uh, the way this is set up is pretty good, I think, for the most part. At least right now it is. I know I'm only, like, moving it from one bone, but even from the other bones, it should be fine. It keeps a general shape, especially when, like, flaring out like this. I mean, there was always going to be some clipping issues, honestly. There was before. Even uh, when I was trying to make the ruffles. Um, they're, they're so close at some areas that it's kind of, like, unavoidable to... To have some clipping. But yeah, look at that. That looks pretty good, I think. Let's remove that. Yeah, there seems to be some clipping on the side specifically. I need to sort of go in and see why that's happening. Um, some bones are not um, not controlling the sides as well as they should be. Um, and then, of course, I need to... I think I'm going to stitch... Uh, or not stitch, but sort of assign... Like these points here that for some reason aren't assigned to, to any bones. Um... I'm going to give those to probably the root bone. Because, yeah, I don't like how... I feel like the root bone should control everything... Um, below, below basically, the waist. And the fact that it, that's not happening is... Uh, is not what I want. So, yeah. Stuff I need to fix. Side, some side loops not being fully weight painted correctly. Um, obviously, all these sections here. Um, oh, shit. I'm going to do that. Um, need to be wave painted to specifically the root bone. It's going to be hard to do that, though. And I don't even know if that's, like, the right move, honestly. But for the most part, this, this works out pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right. Let me... Uh, clear transform. 
Oh, whoops, oops, I need to select all the bones. There we go. Very nice. Really happy with how that turned out. Um... Ooh, I'm sorry. Just doing some stretching. I haven't stretched in a minute. Also, we unlocked um, red chili. What do we need for the next one? We need. Oh shit! I guess I haven't planted any broccoli. We need a shit ton of broccoli. Let's plant some more berry bushes. I'm sure I'll have to move them or maybe even sell some of these berry bushes at some point. Uh, because there's just too many. But, you know, I'll do that in time. When I have to. Alright, what should we focus on next for the farm? I think... Fossil digging, maybe? Wouldn't be a bad idea. It's gonna take a lot of money. Although, I think... Are we halfway there? On... Yeah, right? Yeah, we're about halfway there. Or actually, uh, right there. We just need the biofilm now. And then we have it. Okay. So now that that's done, oops. let's focus on the hair. I think I'm going to skip the braids for now because the braids are like. I need to figure out how exactly I want to do that. I um probably should have done this like afterwards but i needed to triangulate a lot of the area of the um of the braid because without the triangulate ooh, without the triangulation um it would turn out really bad um but the issue with the triangulation was is that um uh, it makes it hard to tell sometimes like how how things are flowing so i need to figure that out Also, the, the braid is just really repetitive, so I need to figure out how I want to do the sort of, um... The sort of lines, I guess, of, um... Of the outline. Obviously, I want the sort of lines to follow the braid on each side. I don't know if I should, like, stack them or something. Um... I don't know if I should make, like, these areas where creases are. Um... If I should, like, add outlines there to sort of, like, um, like, make it very obvious that they're braids. It looks like, uh, at least from the art here, the lines just go all the way straight down. There's no cuts. Um, but obviously, my braids are not made to sort of go in a straight line. They're broken up. I'll have to figure it out, but that's the reason why I won't do it today, because uh, I'm not too sure. So, we're going to do the back. Uh, that's the scalp. Where's the back? Back here. Alright, the bun. Now, the bun does have lines, I believe, going towards the back side of it, and I believe the topology... The apology isn't perfectly made for it, but I mean, it's not the worst either. I could run lines like, uh, like these lines here, and then obviously this line here. 
Um, the only issue is like maybe lines like from here, here, and here and there. I might have to end them like early, like here. For it to make sense. And same for here, maybe. I could do the same thing, but I can't make them go all the way to the middle. Um, unlike uh, these lines, which I'll try to focus on. But obviously, like, I don't want to use it too much, otherwise it would look a bit goofy. We'll see. So anyway, let's do this one then. I wonder if I should redo the UV cutting of it, because the way it's UV cut kind of hinders what I want to do, because I want a line going from in between these two right there. As you can see, they're cut up. They're not touching each other. Um, What I'm trying to say is basically I should move the lines, uh, the seam lines, uh, to somewhere else. Or, hmm, how should I cut this? I mean, I'm gonna be, like, fucking around with the UV, so technically, um... Or I could just merge them by distance. I could stitch them together, I don't know. Maybe that's a bit too complicated, though. Not really. I don't know what I'm saying. Why don't I have, like, clear seams and unpack? It's gonna come out the same, right? Yeah. Maybe something like this, actually. So this side doesn't matter, because this side you won't be able to see. So I could actually keep this, like, relatively small and out of the way. Um, but this, this I could cut up into pieces. You shouldn't be able to see any of that. Yeah, all of that is covered up by the back of the hair. So that's fine. What is this? Is the front? Okay. 
Um, hmm. How should I go about this? Because the way I'm doing it now is going to split some things up, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Or maybe it's like fine enough that it's okay. Yeah, this line is like cut up into pieces and uh but not in the way i would want it to and so is this line although this line isn't gonna go that far so eh, it's just fine it might be fine actually never mind these pieces apart and then I guess these pieces as well that's like a good size i don't know exactly where i'm gonna put them i guess it makes sense to put them like right next to the uh parade ones but i guess it doesn't matter let's put it right next to the parade ones i want to make sure that these are like relatively the same size at least to some extent obviously they can't be perfect That's as big as I can make it. I guess it's as small as I can make it. It's just a little wide. Now these ones are going to be long. It's just natural that they are. There's a lot of shape to <laughs> condense down into a few cubes. Alright, let's select all of these and let us... Rotate them so that they're facing upward, like the other ones. Thank you. 
I don't like how, how much bigger it is compared to the other ones. I guess I could manually shrink it down to around the size it should be. Okay, obviously I need to select the banks to see like how how close this is compared to the other ones, but also I might shrink this one down. Just so that it matches like the overall shape of the other ones. And then I don't know, you could go here or something. If you take up too much space there, then I could just shrink you and put you somewhere else. Since for the most part, you're just going to stay relatively pink. No differences. Alright, uh, wait, hold on, let me check the farm. How's the farm doing? Pretty good, I guess. What do I need? I need more broccoli and more red cabbage. I should probably put more plants down, more pots. Um, but anyway, it is, I guess, technically seven. Oh, cool. I grew a gigantic fucking tomato. It is technically seven. Which means, um, I can swap over now to Wuthering Waves. So, we are probably going to do that in a little bit. Uh, well, let me actually, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to convert that into a square. It looks nicer. Um... Uh, first things first. Ooh, sorry. Don't mean to fucking yawn so, so much for so long. Um, let me... Let me launch Wuthering Waves. And while w Wuthering Waves is launching up, I think I will sort of be right back. Uh, use the bathroom and all that. And then once I'm back, we'll obviously switch... Uh, I'm going to disconnect, save, and quit from uh, Rusty's retirement for now. Alright, that's loading up. Um, while that loads up, um, I'll have Blender on the screen for now. So yeah, I will BRB.
good wooly now. Ah, I'm back. Welcome back. Um, Withering Waves time. Let me change the uh, the category, shall I? So no one gets confused. Let me uh, hide away Blender. And let me pull up the game itself. Let me close out of Blender so that, you know... Um, yeah. Uh, Headslam running in the background. Along with the game. Welcome back. We are in. Alright. I'm level 27 now. I'm rising through the ranks. I guess. How are my friends doing? Big Pup is winning. <laughs> Not that it's a competition or anything. Wait. Is he like 10 levels higher than me? Oh shit. Almost. It's crazy. Anyway. Um, so we could do a few things. Um, obviously, obligatory lag at the beginning of the game. Not much you could do about that. Just gonna have to work it out. Um, so there's a few things we could do. Obviously, like I said earlier today, um, I did go ahead and finish the story. You know, a rover has a new uh, element that they can use, uh, which is, I guess, cool, I guess. Um, in terms of, like, things I could do, let's see. I guess I could do that. Um... I did this up to the most part, uh, up to like what I can't do, which is like level 70. So I could focus on the Tower of Adversity, but I would like to sort of level up my characters a bit more. That is one of the things that we can do today, is I could work towards leveling up my characters to max level as much as I can. Um, I could do this. It says time remaining 13 days. I'm afraid that after 13 days, his story will leave. And if that's the case, then I should probably focus on his story at some point. Uh, of course, we have the Overdash Club, which I did do uh, the first one. Just a simple little, like, minigame thing where you just, like, run uh, through obstacles and stuff. Of course, that's just something that's passive, and this is also um, something that is passive. Uh, I could also focus on my stage things. Level up one skill of a Resonator to level three. I believe I'm focusing on Encore at the moment. I already have this one to level 2, so all I need is, uh, this. Which, where'd we get this from? Apparently from there. Let's do that. Just so we can get it to level 3, and then we'll switch over to something else. Uh, we could also do, uh, we could also look at our, uh, data bank level and try to go after, um, echoes that I either don't have or that are really low level, um, so that I could try to get them... Uh, at a higher rarity. Let's do this first, though. Also, I don't have a lot of uh, this... A lot of the stamina stuff. I gotta understand why you... Why you would want to do, um... Refreshes and stuff using uh the premium currency because who boy does it take a while for it to load up i guess since i'm still starting out the game i'm like using a lot of it i guess if you want to like do good you, you kind of do want to use a lot of it i don't know if choosing level 50 was the best idea i chose it because my encore is level 50 and she's like my my best damage dealer oh shit what the fuck oh my god encore almost died I didn't even realize that, my bad. I guess that's why you don't choose level 50. Let's do this another way. 
Okay, that was it. I was expecting another wave, honestly. But it's actually good that that was it, because then I could just exit from that. Oh, I also need to do my dailies. I did a little bit of the dailies uh, this morning uh, when I did get on for a little bit. Um, but there's still some I need to do. I'm not at 100 yet. She sitting down. What the fuck? <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Uh, oh, look at that. During the resonance celebration, Cosmos Rave, uh, when Encore's HP is above seventy percent damage, that was increased by ten percent. Oh, so that kind of like, uh, I don't want to say forces you, but I guess sort of like makes you want to stay at a high. A high health pool. Oh, sorry. My turtle freaked out for some reason. So yeah, I have to do some of this. I could go cook. I could go craft. What can I craft? I don't think I've ever used the crafting stuff. I don't run into um, a quest or something. That's like the uh, my only fear with coming here is that uh, I fear that I Please, might just run into like a quest by accident. You you can craft weapons. You need here. Weapons are made with mold materials and other ma uh, other materials, M minerals and other materials. Oh, I could craft four star. Level weapons. I wonder if any of my characters use four star level weapons. Okay, Ooh, I need to craft something. These 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 things are very expensive in terms of crafting. I, I mean, like they use up a lot of crafting material that I could be using to save up for a lot of these more expensive crafts. They need these cubes though, which. Apparently come from him. Or Scar. Oh, I see. Oh, they come from the weekly bosses. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Let's just do one of these. Let's do... I guess this, since it's probably, like... What I need the most of, I guess. Simulation challenge. Oh, it's that. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. I, I do like how the, um... i probably do this. Um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I, I do like how the daily quests give you a lot of XP. I think that's, like, the same for, like, all other gotcha games that have daily quests, but... All I'm saying is I like it. <laughs> Bullies, let's race! <sighs> Find us. Spoke with this guy yesterday. Hopefully, he just continues yap yapping. Okay, now he actually wants me to do something. 
Oh, actually, no. I don't have to go very far. Whoops. Alright, luckily, it seems like the daily quests don't take that long, which is a good thing, because... I have a, a bit of a gripe when the daily quests take a long time. Alright. If you look at my data book, my, da my data bank. Um, I'm trying to get all my Echoes the Four Stars. Because um, I think that's the highest I could get them at. Um, so as you can see, I still have some that are blue. Um, I have a couple that are green, but the reason why these are green is because these are bosses. And obviously it takes stamina to fight them. Um, and then I have a few missing here. Which are the other bosses. Uh, the, I think the, oh actually, a couple of them are not here. Wait, what is this? Oh, have not gotten him? I guess I haven't. Let's do him then. Oh, uh, but yeah, there's a boss that I don't know where to find him. Where is he? It's uh, it's this boss and this uh, tacit tacit field. I don't know how to get to them. Um, I assume like maybe going through here, maybe there's like a passageway down. I have to like figure it out. I haven't been able to figure it out though. Anyway, there's still some bosses I need to do. But again, the issue with doing... I mean, I could fight the boss and not collect the the loot that they drop. Like, you know, the, the, the loot that costs stamina. But, I mean, I would like to. I guess there's still a few enemies that I haven't collected the echoes of. Which is a good sign, because a lot of my echoes are almost purple. A uh, rarity. So I'm kind of like... I feel like I'm running out of, like, echoes to farm. Because I think at level 15 is when you're able to unlock the, uh... The highest rank of, um... Of echoes. <laughs> purple let's go i assume getting him purple immediately means that he's it, it looks like it skips um I, like you know it, it grabs you like the the rewards for the other two levels like the green and blue that would make sense it looks like it did so i'm glad that it did that i don't know if i have this guy yet i just wanted to fight him i don't think i do that i don't think tell, tells me anything about. As you wish. We'll leave the tap. All right. What else do I need? We did level up our, our data bank from that, which is a good thing. A couple, or I guess three more levels, and I can get the newest, the newest drop. Let's try to get some of more, some of those other ones that are just like random enemies that I didn't get, not bosses. Oh, apparently I didn't get him as a boss. Or him as a... As an echo. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, Thundering Memphis and Tech Mechma Abomination. 
uh, were both uh, were two bosses that I did during this story. So I guess that explains why I don't have an echo for them. Okay, and then that's that overlord. And that one. Okay. So yeah, the last four that we need to get are bosses. Um, so before we go to those, I'll focus on... Let's focus on you. Get him to purple. After we get this guy to purple, I will go look to see if I could find a way to access that. Uh, one tacit field in that one boss, because I still haven't found a way to do that. Tacit fields are really nice. Maybe they won't be as helpful as they were in the beginning, but in the beginning they used to give me a lot of echoes that I didn't have, because I wasn't really farming for them. Makes sense if they didn't anymore. Seems like he's above or something. These flowers are, I guess, showing me the way up. Oh yeah, here you are. This is so much fun. Damn. There has to be more, Unlucky. Right? Luckily, there's some close by. Can I teleport to it, actually? Is that quicker? Oh, yeah, it is. But, yeah. Uh, if I want to level up Encore's abilities, I need a farm Scar. He is her, uh, like, boss for that kind of stuff, apparently. Also, I was thinking, I, I, I might want to change up my characters a bit. I don't know if I should wait... Or is it the none of the other four stars interests me. I, I want a character. The issue with like the three characters that I'm using right now is that none of them can be used in the uh like door, whatever it's called, um thing. I, I assume because all three of them are like supporting characters, so they're not like part of the main roster. Um in that game mode. Um, so I kind of want to change things up a little bit. Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me do something real quick. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. What I was going to say, okay, I kind of wanted to change this guy for a few reasons. Number one, uh, I'm not the biggest fan that he's the exact same, um, you know, element as Encore. I don't know if it matters too much, uh, but the fact that both of my damage dealers share the exact same um, element, and so that means that anyone that is like part of the fire element can't really do damage to them um i think it's kind of bad so i do want to i do want like another character that isn't under the same element i guess um question is none of these characters really interest me at the moment um as sort of like candidates to replace them 
and at least as far as I know, uh, there isn't a way to see other, uh, the like, there isn't, like, a gallery where you can see, like, the other characters you can roll for. I was trying to look for that. A bunch of, like, Gacha Kings has that. But it seems like this one doesn't. So, very confusing. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to replace him with, like, another 4-star. I do plan on rolling for the, uh... Um... For the girl in the next patch. The, uh, what's... I forgot what her name is. I think she's electric? Or, I think, something close to electric, whatever, like, the equivalent is. Also, wait. Does it say I can't do co-op? Why can't I? Apparently, the secret investigation mission is temporarily unavailable. Wait, what? Currently in the secret investigation mission. This one? Oh, I guess I have to do this before I can play. Uh, oh, I'm... Wait, never mind. I was gonna say, oh, I'm close. I should do it. Okay, I'll do it next. I guess. I didn't know that was going to be holding me up as well. Bullies, let's race! Oops. I didn't have my... My whip active. Okay, whoops. Oh shit, wait, am I supposed to like shoot it beforehand or? I was trying to get close enough because I think if you get close enough it automatically just tells you like, oh hey, just uh... Just left click and it will automatically shoot it towards the right area. Oh, right. I guess I'll fight you. <laughs> Let's see, I'm trying to go around him. I like. I guess I'll fight you. Why not? You're no match. Woolly's attack. Here comes Encore. This is so much fun. Oopsie daisy. Ouch. Am I even close? I feel like... Yeah, I'm close. I was gonna say... Leave. Oh shit, I didn't need to do that. I guess that's a good thing about him, is he has a gun, so I'm able to like aim. If I wanted to shoot at specific targets. I don't know. Like I said, I kind of want. I, 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 like I was talking Let's about. Do this another way. I do plan on pulling for the for the next Banner's character, which I guess would be like who I replace him with. Um, again, we run into the issue with that would mean that all three of my characters use this type of weapon, which maybe isn't the best. This is so much fun. I should probably try separating them out, right? Having like different characters use different types of weapons. Leave. <laughs> Having all three of them use whatever this is called. I think I, I, the word I'm going for is catalyst. I don't know if that's the right word though. Okay, look, we got it. I guess I'm thinking about um, Genshin in that kind of way. The weapon sort of resembles the catalyst. But yeah, it's not, but the issue with that is obviously that that kind of means that until the next, um, until the next character comes out, which isn't for another 12 days, I won't be focusing on leveling this guy up. 
Which doesn't sound the best. Okay, I, I remember getting this quest. The reason why I didn't look at it was because you have to like answer some questions from that guy over there. Um, so I think Let's do this you could have like infiltrated like stealthily. But I ended up just like failing the test because there was so much about it that you had to sort of remember. I got some of the questions right, but I couldn't remember everything. Um, and I didn't want to just like jump in and kill everyone because I actually wanted to do it the legit way. But if it's getting in the way of me doing the 12 quest, then I can really care less. 12 quest? I mean like just co-op. <laughs> there is no quest. But yeah, I, I guess I'll I'll wait and see. I'll try to keep him, like, at a decent level, but I won't, like, go ham for him or, like, try to level up his skills or anything. Of course, he'll be there for when I, like, actually start developing, like, other teams. I I'm sure I'll probably need, uh, more teams for when I start doing the sort of, uh, Spiral Abyss-esque type, uh, content. At some point, I'll probably require you to, um... Have multiple teams to do it, right? That's usually how it goes. First few missions don't, but then afterwards, yeah. Leave me. Inferno. Let's do this another way. What a clinger. As you wish. It works at least. I thought, those were, <laughs> I thought those were boxes you could destroy. Oh, is that an elevator? Okay. Makes sense. What am I supposed to explore exactly? I generally don't know. Because I have been up here. I was I was up here to sort of just like try to sneak around a little bit. <sighs> I guess I'll go all the way to the top. There must be some oh, shit. There must be something up there that I need to sort of touch. There's a lot of cats here. There is also that, the conch. Just conches up here. Yeah, but other than that, what else? I don't know what, what I'm supposed to be uh, trying to look for. Am I supposed to talk to him or something? The guy out there? Oh, wait, in here, maybe. Oh, wait, no, this is just, like... This is not just do it. I thought that was gonna be, like, a hole there or something. It's just, uh... Killed everyone in here. What is this? It? Crashing bad, performing bad, sinning bad, getting back bad. It's saying up. There's like a little arrow that's. Maybe I'm supposed to switch to like sensor. Cats now. Oh, I could get them chicken. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, 
Oh, what? Is it that? Oh, no, those are birds. What? Yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to go for this. And it's weird that it's, like, not letting me do co-op because of this one mission. Oh, I didn't use my fucking scan ability up there. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I equipped it. And I didn't use it. I guess... Let me try to... Let me talk to this guy. Because this is the reason why the, the mission even started was because I talked to this guy. It says wait until tomorrow, 20... Okay, let's just skip the time. 21st of tomorrow. Oh. I thought that I meant, like, get close to it, but I see that it's, like, avoid it. Okay. Can I, like, get behind it or something? Oh, I already saw that. Let me in. Who's that? I don't make any money at Jeans now if you're tired of waiting. Oh no. <laughs> I don't I don't remember. It has been like a couple days since I looked at that paper that he gave me. I guess this one. I just one question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay, they just seemed interesting, I guess. Oh shit, I think people have been talking in my on my chat and I didn't realize it. Oh shit. I'm really sorry. For some reason I, I guess my uh my th my thing that I used to look at my chat it's kinda stopped working when my, my stream stopped working. I do apologize. I didn't realize you were here. Wait, let me look, scroll back and see. It's an update refresh and stuff that make me want to do Blender. Hello. Oh, I missed out on someone talking. That sucks. I think it's a positive feedback. This is very much more interesting. I'm going to cross the stream. 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 I
Okay, well, <laughs> I think that's just a, a bot. Let me just ban that guy. Alright, I should be able to to see now. Okay. What does this say? How weird. Okay. I can now see the chat. I do apologize. If it seemed like I was ignoring. That was not, uh, that is not the case. Or not the intention. You gotta get quick, you better not back. What are you for? Ooh, I don't know which one to pick. Um, he's not pleased for seeing the camp. Stay here, we're back. Okay, what a what an odd quest. Should I maybe wait for him to get to leave? He's kind of just standing there. What? Oh, wait, did I get caught? <laughs> I'm wrong.
What a not quest. Let's do this another way. Why are you focusing on the person all the way in the back? Leave me alone. <laughs> the fruit of evolution. Here we go again. Fully stampede. This is so much fun. I think all this is pretty simple. Oh, they were stuck low. Here comes Encore! This is so much fun! Leave me alone! Oh, okay, he's just over there. I was gonna say, like, do I need to teleport far away? He's not very far. <laughs> Well, at least it should be done with this quest now, so I should be able Let's to co-op after this. Way. I didn't realize there were so many things blocking my way when it came to co-op. I guess it's kind of my fault for, like, accepting any old quest that I ran into. Not really looking at what the hell I had to do for it. Yeah, right. I don't know if you if you heard me, by the way, but I couldn't see my chat for, like, the longest time. I think after, like, I had that really big disconnect, I was unable to see it. So I apologize if it seemed like I was ignoring your messages. I really wasn't. I just... <laughs> it just didn't show up for me. Oh, wait, let me actually check if I could call up now. Because I should be able to now, technically. Now that's done. And this is another quest. Oh no, I can now. Perfect. Look at all these people. Well, a rover without present rings. Love. Speak to like alt account. Raid my echoes. Okay. Alright, what should I do now? Mm -mm -mm. Well, let me check something. Four fifty. I can't upgrade this anymore, right? Yeah, no, I can't. So yeah, my data bank level is getting up there. I need to get to level fifteen though to unlock the next tier, I guess, of things. Oh, actually, before I do that, I've... Yeah, right? It's where you unlock the last one. The last tier. How do you get to this boss? Do you know? Or, or, or this tacit field? I don't know how to get there. It's not, like, above. I, I, I assume it's, like, underground or something. I haven't been able to find it. Maybe it's tied to a quest. It's in Tiger Ma. Also oh, like this. Tiger Ma mine. I assume it's I'm gonna go to this this one right here. Right the whole way in the center far bottom of the mine around the cert bottom the then you actually go under the drill. Oh really? I would have never guessed. way down here there's a way under it okay let's see I guess I'll just go around until I find it
Yeah, I assumed it was like... Sorry, I wasn't looking. Uh, I assumed it was underground because you couldn't access it up above. <laughs> Fair enough. Might get that real quick. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, right. It. it I, I. I think. I mean, it, maybe it's a bit too much to ask, but maybe they should have probably done something like uh, what Genshin has done recently, where there's like separate maps for like the above and underground areas. Otherwise, it's just confusing. This is pretty cool, huh? Just like an entire underground area. Uh, monkey, what am I? Confused me, but that was kind of poison. The way the ores down there are good. Yeah, right. Gem store, this city sells a four star weapon for 80 of these ores. A four star weapon selector. Oh, really? Then I should probably get these. Maybe we need to so so busy echo farming. That's fair enough. My healer's echoes are non-existent. Yeah, right. Focus on the the damage dealers once first, and then go for the healers. That's usually what I do too. Okay, everything's good. A little mini drop off. I prefer that over the the big one I had earlier. Where is this? Oh, okay, so this is that one. Okay. So I wouldn't even have been able to get out of that one if I didn't um if I didn't go through the hole. It would have been wasted time and effort. Alright, and then we have this guy here. What the fuck? This is so much fun. What was that? It's like I got stuck or something. Leave me alone! 
All right, nice. Let's hope, uh, let's hope I get a purple. Oh, nice. Let's go. Why not? Now, I guess the next question is, how do I get to that test field? Wait, can I not go this way? Oh, I guess I can't. Might not be down here. Might be somewhere else. What happens actually, hold on, what happens if I actually track it? It should show me, right? Maybe not. Oh, it's just above. I have to, like, go up to, to get it. It's higher up. As you wish. Yeah, that didn't do much. Never mind. I thought that <laughs> destroyed them instantly or something. It might be through here, maybe. This seems like a good way to go. Inspect. I'm gonna check these out. Okay. Fair enough. Hmm. 
<laughs> I was trying to get onto the ladder. I missed it completely. Special war? Oh shit! Yes, it is. What the fuck? He just one shot me. version from that very nice <laughs> i guess uh, too bad that guy had to die couldn't save him now how do i get to this whatever it's called i've been here before apparently it's under or below. Oh shit. Another disconnect. Wooly now! Wooly's, let's race! I thought maybe there was like a hole up here or something. To sort of drop down, to sort of go over there. I think I've tried looking like... Underneath this mountain ridge. But I don't think I've found it either. They checked over there, I didn't, I didn't see it over there. Maybe I'll check over on this side. Maybe there's like a hole in the mountain or something. But then this part is a part of that. Maybe there's another way to get down there. It's close to this. Maybe here? Feels like this should be the entrance, but it isn't. And by the looks of things, it should be below.
Okay, now everything got cleared out. I could probably just look it up, honestly. Let's see. Weathering waves. What is it called? Um, test field. I think I spelled test it wrong. Hold on. Test field under. Teleport to one one. Okay, so this one. It's still me to teleport here. Alright, let me continue watching the video actually. It might be in the right direction, maybe. Or maybe hold on. No, never mind. Car spent a long, long time on this. Want to have a bite? <laughs> okay. I remember this place. I think I killed these people before. So yeah, down here apparently is where the tacit, the tacit dis, tacit field is. Yeah, it is kind of annoying that there. Ooh, I need to open it apparently. Where is the thing that I need for that? That is the question. I didn't see it out here. It might actually be there though, and I'm just blind. Maybe it's somewhere else. Wait, let me see the video. The video, oh, the video might show up. Oh, you could just punch the boulder, never mind. I thought it was one of those boulders where you needed to use, like, a special little, little bomb to, to blow it up, apparently. I guess that makes sense. In the Shit. I didn't mean to press R. I meant to press uh, T. 
The fruit of evolution. What the fuck? Well, there was like a whole cutscene for that? Alright. I thought that was something in the box to investigate. I guess it's cool that there's like under underground areas. It kind of it kind of sucks the fact that uh, it took me this long to find them. Okay, I'll do the test field in a moment. First, I'm going to get the uh, whatever it's called. Whatever beacon, fast travel point. I might need to revive this guy as well. He's like dead. Oh, do I need to? He's a good like secondary DPS to switch to once Encore has like finished doing their combos. Annoying little rat. <laughs> Things I I could explore. Good to know. All right, there we go. Don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, I think I'm gonna do this test Discord test field, and then I think I might call it for today. The fuck? Get away from me, you scorpions! I occasionally keep on pressing Q to activate my ultimate. I think because most games, uh, or I guess if I'm thinking about it, Genshin uses uh, Q for their ultimate stuff. So I guess it's just like second nature to, uh, to press Q. There's a bunch of other games that do it as well. Why the fuck do I focus against <laughs> people that are like so fucking far away? Is the launch behind me? This is so much fun. That's why are you guys getting fruits? I'm not even using like any ice cream. I wonder if it's because I'm not using the guy since he died. Maybe. Why are these guys so tough though? Aren't they supposed to be like range units? I guess it's like part of the effect of the, the task of the apply. Oh, 
Fire is not affecting me. Oh, never mind. There's a, a, two, a, another one after this. I think. Okay, let's say Did something happened for me defeating it. All right, they helped a little bit with my data bank level. All right, that's it for today. I feel like, um, you know, in my free time. I'll probably just continue uh continue leveling up my my data my data bank until I get to level 15. Um yeah, I still need to level up some. I think I leveled up all greens for the most part except for these two cuz these are bosses and I have to, you know, it costs like 60 stamina to do each one of these. And I mean, I could do it and not waste the stamina on them, but you know, you know how I am. Um I still need to do some bosses though here. Uh, this one, which I, I, which is unknown, and then a couple other ones, which I have fought, but I just didn't get an echo from them when I did fight them. So I'll do, I'll try to do it in my free time, try to get to level 15 ASAP, so that I can start grinding, uh, to level 20. And, you know, I'll do some other things in the meantime. I do have to get to level 40 to get access to level 20. Um, so, you know, doing some side quests or whatever wouldn't be a bad idea uh, get my union level XP up so by the time I get to level 20 or I guess 19 uh, it won't be too much until I can get to level 20 but yeah so that's it tomorrow more blender um, like I said um, I didn't actually talk about where we left off I think but um, the dress is pretty much done. I just need to sort of fix some of the way painting issues, some clipping that is happening, and I also need to fix some uh, parts of the dress that aren't being controlled by the uh, uh, by the root the root bone of the skirt. It's just an issue with the fact that um, I used automatic uh, weights, so I need to fix that as well. Um, What else? Uh, and then, yeah. So I'll do that tomorrow. Now. Tomorrow I will also continue to texture paint. That's probably what we're going to do first since I already started that. Might as well finish it. It's such a small part. It's just the bun. So it won't take too long. Um, and then after that, we'll do the rigging, way painting stuff. Try to fix that. And if, or if I don't finish it, the next step would be to work on the... Um, Ship keys, which I'll see if I could try to look up uh, what or how to start doing an AR kit because I might want to learn that this time. Be a good woolly now, but we'll see. So, yeah, thank you for coming along. Thank you for stopping by. Have a have a you know, good rest of your day, and I will be back tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Saturday. Yeah, I'll be back. Goodbye.